His memoir inspired the book Uncle Tom's Cabin, but the true story of Josiah Henson is one most people don't know until now. Um, a man with enormous faith, you know, tenacity, dedication, loyalty, you know, all those things. Mia Lewis, a descendant of Henson, shares he was born into slavery in Southern Maryland in the late 1700s and eventually sold to Isaac Riley's plantation in what is now North Bethesda. He ended up being not just a normal um, part of the enslaved workforce, but he rose to be the overseer of the plantation. The Riley House still stands today, now part of the Josiah Henson Museum and Park, chronicling his life and history. The museum grounds are also a working archaeological site. So far, archaeologists have recovered more than 40,000 artifacts. We decided to take both the information we discovered here on the site and from his narratives and combine them into a museum that could tell the story of his life, but also slavery here in this part of Maryland. Henson eventually escaped the Riley Plantation with his family to Canada in 1830 and later helped 118 more enslaved people do the same, starting the Dawn Settlement to help them get established. He went back numerous times to help individuals escape slavery over to Canada and then placed them over there where they were able to learn a trade. It's a very different portrait of the muse for the character Uncle Tom, which garnered a negative connotation. The museum breaks down that stereotype as well. I want it to um, just be realized that that's not the real Uncle Tom who you're referring to or the way you're using that term. This is the real Uncle Tom, and this is what he was about, and this is what he has done. His true legacy, one the Henson family is proud to claim and proud to share through the museum. They're planning to gather this summer for a family reunion at the site where his story truly began. In Montgomery County, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.